Level 44. Alternus. Survival difficulty class 1, safe, secure, minimal entity count. Level 44 is the 45th level of the backrooms. It is unconfirmed. Description. Level 44 takes an appearance of an alternate dimension, where everything is different and sometimes reversed. Those who have been there nickname it Alternus. The sky is the color of sunsets. The horizon is orange yellow and the sky itself is a live pink color. However, the pink fades into a lilac color once the sky goes higher. There is no sun, instead there is a black star. Sometimes random things appear in the sky then quickly disappear. They are illusions. However, a lot of people have explained that those illusions are actually very realistic. Sometimes it can go very cold for a second, and then really hot. The ground is made out of an unknown substance that is soft and yellow. Glowing dandelions and strange floors sprout out of the ground. Fireflies glow different colors. Nyx Peaks Nyx Peaks are in a range of mountains made of a black rock and coated in snow. To reach there you must use the glass lift. The mountain is pretty hollow, but deep inside there is lava, which means it is a volcano. The volcano has not been reported to erupt soon. Galaxy Ocean There is a galaxy ocean. It is vast and it is unknown if there is an end to it. If you dive in, it looks like you're in space, there are stars, planets and auroras. However, you cannot see what's above it. It is highly suggested that if you ever enter that ocean, you must look up and swim up to reach the surface again. Otherwise there is a high chance of drowning. After some research, travelers in that area invented special submarines that allow you to plunge into the ocean without drowning. You are able to exit the submarine to scuba dive. After a while of scuba diving done by the brave, they claim to see strange, marble doors in the ocean. Entering the door will lead you to other levels, the metro or level 44.5. Sometimes you will see small iridescent quartz boats. You can sail across the ocean, but there is no land. It is always suggested to turn back. Occasionally there is a humanoid figure made out of the ocean substance. It is referred to as the goddess. If she sees you, she will grab you and place you on a platform located inside of her body. She will then ask you a series of questions about how much good deeds you've been doing. The more good deeds you do, the higher the platform ascends, and if you don't do much good deeds, the platform will descend. Once the platform has ascended up to her head she will grab you out, saying you've passed the trial. If the platform has descended enough times, it will sink into the ocean where you'll drown. One thing is that this goddess is very naive and she will easily believe lies. Cliffs. There are many cliffs in this strange area. The cliffs are made of rock with glowing colorful moss. The tips of the cliff are coated in the same soft yellow substance. There are luminescent mushrooms growing out of moss. Sometimes there are unstable bridges connecting one cliff to another, but it is recommended not to cross as it is very dangerous. There are also burrows and caves dug into the cliff. There you will spot lavender colored hot springs and crystals you've never seen before. Some travelers have settled there. In order to reach a dug-in cave, you must use ladders and ropes. Travelers who have decided to stay in level 44 set up camps in the empty caves. Sometimes the caves will be nested entities found in that level and other times ice caves and very rarely it will house Lukedom but this is so rare it is believed to be just a legend. Glass lifts. The most common sight found in level 44 glass lifts. They operate just like ski lifts, but they vary in size. Sometimes they will be small enough to carry one person and sometimes they are large enough to carry a whole group. These lifts often go nowhere, just flow through the air attached onto strings. Sometimes they are used by travelers to navigate into the caves in the cliff. Usually it is best to spend as much time as you like on here because of the landscape, however it is also good to use the chance whenever the lift goes closest to the ground so you can jump on. Remember, the ride never ends. Glass lifts often appear in random locations, then start getting pulled up onto the air. Chnabri Cave Chnabri Cave is a cave that is most distinguishable by webs attached to it and splats of blood, unlike other caves. You will find it after wandering around this level for a while. However, it is strongly advised not to enter. The first traveler to successfully escape claimed that in the level there are strange white strings in the limestone that seem to come together and form an entity. This entity is referred to as Virga. It takes a humanoid appearance, resembling old cave art. The strings form and it seem to glitch out of the place, making it look shaky. Once it sees you, strings will seem to grow out of the floor itself and tie you up and squeeze you to death. It is also claimed that the webs around the cave were used to kill like other victims. The cave is also painted with blood. 
The surviving traveler, still recovering from the event, explained how they escaped using scissors to quickly cut off all strings attached to them before running away as fast as possible. Even though a possible way to escape is now known, entering the cave is highly restricted to veteran explorers only because only the fastest people are able to cut off all strings before being killed. After a bit more deeper exploring, Virga is known to no longer attack people. This area is known as the Beyond Virga Zone. This area is very dark so it is recommended to bring a flashlight. Currently no life is reported in this area. Traveling further enough will lead you to level 44.5. Entities. Other flora slash fauna. Nothing much has been documented about these entities, but most of them are harmless. Some examples are the glowing plants and fireflies and occasionally other insects. Vidra. Vidra are fair-like creatures. They are usually white with cat ears, too long frilly ears surrounded by halos that have a variety of color and a puffy fox tail. They usually gather around in places where there are lots of flora and are born in nests and tight burrows. They have poor hearing and their expressions are always emotionless. They do not mind being picked up or even being injured. Vera bleed almond water, so any travelers who went there often slaughtered them for their flesh. Others have decided to protect them in case they go extinct, and even others like to keep them as pets and bring them to other levels. However, since not much is known of the Vidra and how it survives, Vidra often die when brought to other levels. Some hostile entities found on other levels often target Vidra on site, rather than humans, which is a strange phenomenon. Vidra love to eat all sorts of food, and it doesn't seem to harm them. More information will be researched on how to successfully keep Vidra as pets. Piscus. Piscus is a species of fish that is often caught flying out of the galaxy ocean. It is very large, and it looks like a regular goldfish, but it is decorated with patterns and shapes of different colors like diamonds and stars. Piscus speak an unknown language, but they never seem to communicate with humans, rather they communicate with other Piscus. They are also known as the flying fish of level 44. Like glass lifts, it is possible to ride a Piscus, even though it goes nowhere, just like a glass lift. It won't even mind, and sometimes it won't even notice you. Eventually it does return under the galaxy ocean, but that will take about a few months to do so. If you ever do ride a Piscus, it is recommended to jump off when it is close to a high ground, for example, a mountain or cliff. When riding a Piscus, a strange thing is it will always be speaking, even when there aren't any Piscus around. In fact, there aren't. Sometimes when you look closely you may see mirages of other Piscus swimming around the sky in shoals but usually they disappear, just like any other mirage. There is a theory saying the Piscus has such good eyesight it can tell if there are other Piscus around in mirages, but it is still being researched. Fantasy Illusions Fantasy illusions are first entities that take the form of rolling white balls. However, once it spots a human, it will roll faster towards it. It then explodes into a whole illusion or fantasy reality for the human to be trapped in. This reality looks like a whole world inside of a piece of contemporary art. The reality is different every time. Sometimes people can tell which artworks they're in. This reality usually lasts from a few minutes to almost a month, so it can be a pretty dangerous situation. Lukitum. Lukitum is a humanoid entity found in one of the many different caves and cliffs. She is first mentioned by the goddess during the so-called trials, briefly asking if the human has seen Lukitum, but the answer will not affect the transition of the platform in any way. If you ever come across the cave house in Lukitum, you will first notice a long hallway and an entrance to a chamber. Inside of the chamber are many crystals and plants, and right in the middle, a jewel box big enough to hold a human. It is actually possible to open the box, but you must be very strong to do so. Inside the box is an ice crystal holding a sleeping female, looking around like a young adult. It is known that they are Lukitum. There is a theory where the goddess has gave Lukitum a trial like what she has done to any other human, but since Lukitum is so humble she ended up trying to tell the goddess she has done everything wrong. The goddess attempted to drown Lukitum in the ocean, but halfway through the process she felt bad doing this to such a young human being and decided to preserve her body in one of the caves. It is unknown if she is actually dead or not. Colonies and Outposts there is only one colony in level 44, since most of the explorers didn't seem to take an interest in it. Its name is the Fantasia Graub. Fantasia Graub. Work on inventions to further the expansion of level 44. Originally started out as a small group in the hub until they took an interest in level 44. Full of scientists and engineers, they are very smart. Usually open for trading, and will let you stay in their base for around a week. While they are very friendly, they won't let you join them unless you're an expert in science and technology. 
have currently invented a submarine and a scuba gear for the galaxy ocean. Camping necessities for settling in the cliffs or caves, survival devices to further in the exploration at the Trubree Cave, and developing some foods for the Vivara to try. Entrances and Exits to enter, you must go to the metro station in any of the levels the metro stops at and there is a slight chance you will see a purple box big enough to hold a few humans. You can enter the box with friends if you like. Inside of the box are windows and one large button. If you push it, the box will transport you through a rainbow tunnel into level 44. It will land on a hill. To exit, you must find your way back to the box and push the button again to transport you back to the metro. If you only want to stay in the level for a short time, it is best not to wander too far away from the box.